Ukrainian passenger jet probably crashed after being hit by a Russian-made Tor M1 missile over Parand and crashed in the town of Kalajabad. Ukrainian International Airlines flight PS752, en route from Tehran to Kiev, with 176 people on board has crashed in Iran just minutes after takeoff from Imam Khomeini International Airport, and officials say there is no chance of finding survivors. A Ukrainian Boeing 737-800 went down just minutes after taking off from Tehran's airport at 6.12 local time, 2.42 GMT. Three Britons and 63 Canadians were among the 168 passengers and nine crew on board the Ukrainian International Airlines flight to Kiev. The OSINT experts catalogued and mapped some of the debris of the Ukrainian passenger jet and claim that some debris from Boeing 737-800 shows signs of a missile strike. Also, Iranian social media released footage of suspicious wreckage that was founded nearly of passenger jet crash place. Suspicious wreckage found at Ukraine plane crash impact site appears to be the nose cone section and control fins of 9M331 surface-to-air missile. It is employed by the Russian-made Tor M1 mobile air defense system and features a semi-automatic command to line of sight, SACLOS, guidance system. This system currently in service of the Iranian military deployed at a military base near the crash site. In addition, numerous amateur videos appeared to capture the final moments of a Ukrainian passenger jet also testify in favor of the version of the missile attack. An amateur video, run by Iranian news agencies and purportedly of the crashing plane, showed a descending flash in a dark sky. It was accompanied by comments that the aircraft was on fire and then a brighter flash as it appears to hit the ground. US, US intelligence picked up signals of a radar being turned on, sources told CBS News. U.S. satellites also detected two surface-to-air missile launches, which happened shortly before the plane exploded. Iranian media blamed technical problems and quoted an aviation official who said no emergency had been declared. In a sign of the potential difficulties facing crash investigators, the head of Iran's civil aviation organization was quoted as saying the Ukrainian plane's black boxes, the cockpit voice recorder and the flight data recorder. Iran's aviation authority has said it will not hand over flight recorders from the Ukraine International Airlines Boeing 737-800, either to the aircraft's manufacturer or U.S. aviation authorities. The statement was issued on Wednesday as the leaders of Ukraine and Canada, from which dozens of citizens died, vowed to identify the cause of the crash amid contradictory statements and swirling speculation. The Canadian Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, said, our government will continue to work closely with its international partners to ensure that the crash is thoroughly investigated. The Tor M1 is the successor to the OSA, NATO, SA-8 Gecko, surface-to-air missile, SAM, system. The 9K331 Tor SA-15 Gauntlet land-based, SAN-9 naval version low-to-medium altitude SAM system is capable of engaging not only aircraft and helicopters but also RPVs, precision-guided weapons, and various types of guided missiles. The TOR system is a low to medium altitude, short range surface to air missile system designed for intercepting aircraft, cruise missiles, precision guided munitions, unmanned aerial vehicles, and ballistic targets. The Cupole factory produces the unique short range TOR air defense systems. It was developed as a successor to the OSA, SA 8 Gecko. The TOR air defense system, which some experts say is named in honor of the Norse god of thunder and lightning Thor is designed to destroy enemy weapons at short range as they fly towards their target at a radius of 15 kilometers, 9.3 miles. Surface-to-air missile systems Tor M2E, Tor M2K, and Tor M2KM are intended for day and night air defense of the important public and state, military and industrial facilities, military forces, and vital military against attacks of high-precision weapon, aircrafts, helicopters and unmanned aerial vehicles in an adverse weather and jamming environment. The main performance feature of SAM Systems Tor is to attack up-to-date high-precision weapon, such as anti-radar missiles, harm and others, cruise missiles, and guided aerial bombs. That particular weapon will present the most threat for the countries exposed to aerial attack. Combat vehicles of these surface-to-air missile systems provide synchronous processing of 144 marks from aerial objects, build up the tracks of targets, analyze them and select 10 the most dangerous ones, track them and simultaneous destruct up to four air targets by four guided missiles launched from one combat vehicle. The surface-to-air guided missiles of the system are designed specially for effective interception of high-precision weapon to provide essential advantage over foreign baseline designs. 
SAM systems Tor M2E, Tor M2K, and Tor M2KM are easy to be in.